Uh, so good morning, everyone. Uh, it's great to be here with all of you today. Uh, and I want to first congratulate ITU for putting on another successful Girls in ICT Day. And um, as Malcolm mentioned, not just here in Geneva, but in at least 150 um, other locations around the world, um, which is not only um, very exciting, but it's very necessary. And I just wanted to congratulate uh, ITU for um, you know, all the hard work that I know went into uh, st launching this effort initially and then um, working to build it out um, really uh, globally. Um, uh, you know, I, I, it, you should be proud of what you've done. So thank you for that. Um, and uh, as Malcolm mentioned, um, I also am very uh, thrilled and excited to be here in the room with all of you. Uh, it's great to be surrounded by so many uh, young, bright people. Um, I spend a lot of my time being surrounded by old, bright people. So this is a nice welcome, <laughs> welcome relief. And um, I'm really looking forward to spending the morning with you. Uh, the work you're doing with um, uh, programming ro robots, coding, uh, 3D satellite mapping, is all uh, extremely interesting and um, I really I can't wait to visit the exhibits later this morning and finally get a chance to witness um, uh, firsthand all the exciting work you've been doing projects I've been hearing so much about and with these projects you know you're showing other girls not only the um, uh, incredible potential that ICTs have to offer but you're really showing uh, other girls and um, through technology, um, as we'll be uh, promoting this event, you're really showing the world the future. Um, so you should be proud of that. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today, that the careers that await young women who are interested in this sector, and uh, more importantly, the knowledge and the skills that they'll need to access jobs, and the knowledge and skills that are necessary to solve some of our toughest problems. When I was your age, I loved math and science. Um, I actually still do. After high school, I knew that I wanted to become an engineer. Because like you, I questioned assumptions. I was interested in solving problems and trying to make things better. So the STEM skills that I developed as I went through my uh, engineering curriculum, uh, they helped me land my first job out of college, which was writing computer programs to control hydroelectric power plants to try to optimize the amount of clean energy that was coming out of the, the river systems in Northern California. Now today with climate change, uh, we're much more conscious of this kind of technology, but back then that wasn't the case. It was really sort of interesting and, uh, um, uh, you know, I was excited to be involved in, in this kind of technical and, and problem solving work. Um, then the skills that I developed on that job positioned me well for my next job, which was actually in the telecommunications industry. And, you know, one thing led to another. I was able to build, you know, continue to build on the, the skills I was developing in the sector. And um, uh, here I am today. And it's just really fortunate to have a chance to sit here in front of you and discuss all the exciting possibilities that you have ahead of you. Um, uh, and it's it's encouraging that you've you've uh, put the time and committed to put the time into this into this work. Um, the, so the point I'm trying to make is that is that STEM education and ICT skills will give you an incredibly valuable foundation from which to draw upon, no matter which career path you decide to take. It's expected that 90% of all future jobs will require ICT skills. And more and more employers are going to be struggling to fill these jobs. In the US alone, the Department of Labor projects that by 2020, there will be 1.4 million job openings for computer specialists in America. And unfortunately, the US universities are expected to only produce enough qualified graduates to fill 29% of these positions. So we want you. Um, actually, we need you to become tomorrow's innovators, entrepreneurs, and scientists. President Obama said that science is more than a school subject or the periodic table 
or the properties of waves. It is a critical way to understand and explore and engage with the world. A mindset that says we can use reason and logic and honest inquiry to reach new conclusions and solve big problems. And I couldn't agree more. The world needs science and science needs women. We have to do everything possible to change the fact that women and girls are vastly underrepresented, underrepresented in STEM education, in the ICT sector, and in leadership positions generally. Which is why today the US mission and ITU are excited to offer a speed mentoring program for girls interested in STEM. I'll be in the exhibit hall later after this session um, with some of my colleagues to speak with you and answer any questions that you may have. The world is changing fast, thanks in large part to ICTs. In an increasingly complex and interconnected world, success is driven not only by what you know, but by what you can do with what you know. So as you continue to explore and engage in the world in new ways, I encourage you to continue to pursue the study and the use of ICTs. I can assure you that it is a very wise and worthwhile investment in your future. Thank you very much.